Hey there, writers. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Have you ever wondered how I choose the keywords to rank for to get on page one of Google? In this video, I'm going to show you the nine strategies that I use every day to rank those keywords. All right. If you don't know me, my name is Peyton of writingincomeaccelerator.com, where I show freelance writers how to earn top dollar for their craft. And today we're going to talk about my strategies, all nine of them, how to generate a list of keywords to rank for in Google so I can embed them into my article. All right, so let's get right into it. So this is the article right here that I ranked for in the top 10 of Google. You can see if you, if you Googled it, if you Googled it, it'll be like number nine or number 10. And I strategically did this article. It's been in the top 10 for the last two years. And when I wrote this article, I was thinking about how to rank. So the first, the first tip I have for you, the first strategy is to use the Google suggest. People are already typing it in, the, the keyword. So that's the thing, is that we're trying to rank for a keyword, and we're gonna put that keyword into an article, and then an article will rank, people see the article, click on it, and then you'll embed your brand in there, or an affiliate, or whatever you're trying to do with that article, and then I'll send massive traffic to that website that you wanna do. Uh, that you want to send traffic to. So that's why clients hire me. I write those types of articles around keywords. So if Charles Schwab or whatever was a client, they would really love this article. So I use Google Suggest because this is what people are actually typing into Google. So they, they already want to know this. So the, Google is telling you what they're saying, or what they're typing. So swing trading, you got, uh, I'm looking for two to three, uh, two to three word phrase. So two words or three words maximum. So swing trading strategies is something I could try to rank for. Patterns is a good one. Stocks, ETFs. Yeah, yeah, so all this is really good. So when I'm creating a list, this I'll create a master list. I'll start writing some of these down that I want to do an, an, an analysis for later. I'll do an analysis on a, a a paid software program to see how competitive they are. But I'm creating this list and I, at the end of all of this, I'll have like 20, 30, 40 keywords, okay? And I just narrow them down. So that is number one. Number two is Google SERPs. So search engine results page. So when you Google in that term, what comes up? What are the top 10, what are the top 10 uh, results? So that's what SERPs are, search engine results page. And so I'm looking at key, keyword ideas from that. I might read the article, I might read the highlights, but I'm looking at all those results. Like here's my result, number 10. I'm writing down ideas on that list for keywords as well. Number three is I, I scroll to the very bottom of the SERPs and I look at searches related to. And so in this little box right here, in this little area right here, they are basically telling you what else people typed in to search for. So that that is Google pointing you in the right direction. People are, are already Googling these things just like Google suggests, okay? They're related, so they're correlated. So it's different than suggest, but it's similar as well. Number four is the keyword finder tool. So if you go up here, you see in this box on the right, related keywords, that is from a plugin called Keywords Everywhere. Keywords Everywhere, free Chrome extension. And then, and then any anytime you Google something on the right side, you will see that this this tool will scans the internet uh, for all these great ideas. It will give you some, some keyword ideas that you can write down and put on your list as well. This is a fantastic tool. It's one of my favorite tools and it is free. So use this one as well. Number five is Wikipedia. So if you go to Wikipedia, type in swing trading. Sometimes if it's a big topic, it'll have a table of contents. And within the table of contents, you can get really good keyword ideas. This one isn't that big, but there's still, you know, terms in blue, the, the links here, that are ideas that you could write about. That way, those might make the list as well, okay? Number six is answer the public. So answerthepublic.com has a really great Website, it is free as well. You type in swing trading. I think you get to choose your country or, or whatever language. And then these are things that people are, are typing in. It's, it has a really great UI and UX, but these are things that people are typing in and then it categorizes them for you. So 
let's look at what. So what is swing trading in India? What is a swing trading strategy? Or why does, here's the why, why does swing trading really work? So this is fantastic to find out what people are really searching for. And at the bottom, it just kind of categorizes it by, um, from what's above by alphabet. So I really like this website as well, and it's free. All right, so number seven is Facebook groups. So when I'm looking for keywords, I'm looking for the pains and frustrations that people have with that, that topic. And so I'm gonna go join a Facebook group, private or public, and find out what people are talking about the most and have a lot of problems around, frustrations around. So I'm looking at posts that have a lot of comments and a lot of likes or a lot of reactions to them, okay? If, and if I see that enough times on, on Facebook groups, then that indicates to me that that is a key frustration and that's something worthy of writing about. So to find those groups, just go into Google and you put facebook.com and then your key term, so I put swing trading, and then groups, and then a bunch of them will pop up and then you can join them. Number A is reddit.com. So this is where people kind of go to, to gripe. And so since I'm trying to find a pain and frustration with this keyword and link it to a brand later through an article, Reddit is kind of the place to go. Now, you gotta take everything with a grain of salt, but if there's a lot of conversations happening about, if there's a lot of conversations around a certain topic, it's something you should investigate and one of those keywords can make your list. Number nine are the keyword software tools, the paid software. Uh, the number one tool out there is Ahrefs. If you got, if you can only get one SEO tool, Ahrefs is probably the one that people would choose because you can just do more than keyword research. You can do content, let's see, content exploration, site explorer, dashboard. You can analyze your website and it'll tell you the weak spots for SEO and then tells you how to fix them. Like this is a really great website. I look at it, I use it every day, but when you scroll down, it says keyword ideas by search volume. So you put in your keyword up here and I'm using the, the keyword explorer tool put in your keyword, it tells you how competitive it is, the volume, 12,000 searches, and then right here, keyword ideas and search by volume, that kind of tells you all these different terms that are people, people are using, the questions, what else they rank for. So a lot of these terms will make that, that list of 20 or 30 keywords that I'll narrow down to later. So this is a fantastic tool, but I gotta say one of the most accurate tools is by Mongols, in this KW Finder, kwfinder.com. This is a, one that's paid for as well. It's like 30, 40, 50 bucks a month. But it is, I feel that it's a little bit more accurate in terms of keyword difficulty, meaning you can rank for a certain keyword. It will give you a score. This is what it kind of looks like right here. If it's like this one, it says it's 39 out of 100. It is possible to, score, uh, to rank for this keyword. So if you wrote an article around this keyword, you know, you could probably rank for it. If you put it on medium.com, it has a high domain authority, you could probably rank for it. So I, I love this tool. So number nine is paid uh, keyword tools online. So that is it. Those are your nine strategies that I use all the time. If you like the content that I talked about today, please consider subscribing below, giving a little thumbs up, and make a comment. Let me know what you thought about it. Let me know what you want to hear about next because my job is to help freelance writers get paid top dollar for their craft, for their writing. My name is Peyton. If you want to learn more, go to writingincomeaccelerator.com where I talk about all these strategies and more. Thank you so much and have a fantastic day.